Oh yes, it's Sunday. Once oh, it's again. Ass bitches. Oh my goodness, it's the Lord's day, and it's his. It is the shit. The shit that fucking does not work. That's what we should call our show. It's actually the nothing sacred show, and it is the uh, what the fuck is the 21st. day? The twenty first <laughs> of August two thousand sixteen. We hadn't done a show in a little while. We had some technical shit going, so. Yeah, we still have some technical shit. Yeah, going. so we're doing it. So we're but we're but we're back on. We're, we're we're here. We're 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 fierce. We're 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 ready to roll. Yeah. And uh, and yeah. So um, so this week I, I, we don't have much shit to talk about. I mean, I got a couple things. Uh, just a little worries and just it's like a, a little a thing that just pisses you off because it's either corp corp mistake that causes your weekend to be a little weird. Oh yeah. Um. But, but and I'll get into that in a second. But first, we have to keep an update because we already have a, a previous update going. Okay, um, you about the CPAP machine, right? Yeah, about the CPAP because I was gonna I'm, and let's preface this here because I was ready to talk. I'm re- I was ready to, to 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 fucking go balls forward, man, and call you a, a dick face, idiot, dumbass, loser, pussy who can't get shit fixed, and would well, rather have shit not get fixed than have his fucking uh, health better. Because because uh, here okay because before we go in, I'm sure you got it fixed. Oh yeah, but but here's my little. I'm gonna do my little preach because I've been saving this up because my preach was here. All right. Okay, you so you have it in you, so you gotta spit it out. You huh? you were literally dying every night, right? You're dying a little bit every night. You're literally not breathing every single fucking night, which could cause serious, serious heart and health problems. Right. If you are, right. if it's well, it's a sign of some health problems already. But I mean, whatever. I'm not sure what they are, but or just like an <laughs> airway ish, airway issue. But that right. was literally causing you to like to like. You mean not breathe dude you're mm-hmm. gasping for every night so right. for you and, and you're having issues because uh, let's recap you had you got your CPAP machine you're having issues getting it strapped on right and you're like oh fuck this you're about to say fuck this machine and I wanted to say dude <laughs> there are thousands and millions of people who use this machine every night successfully so yes you are doing something wrong, so get someone to help you fix it, because if you don't, you're just an idiot who can't get... I don't want to do it! It's the machine! It's not me! No, it was you. See, but you got to fix, so that was well, my bitch, because I was about to say, dude, no. No, I, I was about to make you look stupid and force you to fucking realize that you have to get... The, you have to realize, You have to fix how you are doing it. It's not the machine. It's you, right? Well, right, right. And, and here's, here's what happened. Okay. And it's funny, dude, because a very simple thing can fuck everything up. Mm-hmm. And uh, so, you know, when I first got it, the first two nights, you know, were a little bit of an adjustment because I wasn't sure how tight I was supposed to have it. It was either too tight or too loose. And then I was getting wind tunneled. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I got air, blo- like cold air blowing in my face, you know, all night. And it's like, <laughs> and your cheeks are inflating and shit. And you got that, you know, with air. Yeah. Yeah. So um anyway i i kind of got it i got it working i got a few good nights of sleep you know you saw in the beginning i was talking about you know yeah man this thing's great i'm actually sleeping well and it's kick-ass well i guess last monday night man my nose was a little stuffed up so it was a little bit tight on me so i said well fuck let me just you know mess with one of these adjustments and dude there's so many adjustments on these these stupid fucking straps Mm -hmm. and so i i loosened the straps and fuck dude i never could get them right you know i just had been messing around and i should never have dicked with those and uh so dude i went through a whole week like i didn't i was pretty much fighting with this goddamn thing every night Mm -hmm. and i wasn't getting much sleep and you know i I put it on and it was fine but then as it would ramp up a little bit you know there'd be more air and it would be blowing in my face and making funny fucking sounds you know like yeah you know that kind of thing and uh so I was like, okay, I got to do something here. I got to, I got to get some help. So my friend Golden Retriever actually has used one for years, mm-hmm. and so <gasps> I called her. I said, hey, look, you know, you use the CPAP machine. You know, I need some help with this thing. I don't know what the fuck's going on. So she came over yesterday and she saw it right away. She was like, oh, I see what your problem is. And apparently it was the way I had the straps hooked up because there was, you know, all these yeah. connectors and all this shit. So now it works great, dude. And. Uh, so I've been, you know, using it, and and uh, the last, well, night or so, you know, I, I slept great. No, did you uh, did you have a did you partake in the alcoholic beverages last evening? Oh yes, yeah. So yeah, and yeah. that even so that, and that and that's going to make you sleep even better. Then so you even notice a difference. You probably got up this morning, and even though you probably had a little bit of a hangover, right? Well, I didn't feel bad. As a matter of fact, the first thing I did was I called her on the phone and mm-hmm. thanked her because I was like, 
damn, I, you know, and, and I even said to her, I was like, you know, I just woke up, right? And she was like, oh, well, I, I'm sorry, I didn't, and I was like, no, 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 in other words, I just woke up, do I sound like I just woke up? And she's like, well, not really. I said, yeah, I'm not groggy or anything. So, and so and so and so your pro your hangovers are probably going to be way less because you're actually going to get oxygen get throughout treat. the night. You know, <laughs> and that's funny because you're right, man. My hangovers in the past. Remember how I used to just be like, "Oh God, dude, I got yeah. fucking." Fuck. And you drank the same amount. I'm sure you would. You have a sandwich last night or something similar. I have a sandwich, mm-hmm. and I actually had an extra. Sluggo had this. Um, it's something. A new kind of beer. It's Bud Light with lime and oh yeah, yeah, Tamago or something. Oh, Clamato. Oh, Clamato. Yeah, there you go. Clamato. Oh, that sounds it's, awful. It was good. It was actually. Well, then good. again, you have to. You had you had drank a couple of shitty shit, so you're probably like, this is fucking taste delicious compared to what the I first thing I drank. Oh, good. Well, bad. Because he busted that out. He was like, okay. He was like, I tried this. He's like, you're gonna have to try it too. He's like, I'm not gonna tell you what's in it till you drink it. So I'm like, okay. So I took a drink and he's like, what does it taste like? And I was like. Oh, God, it tastes like tomatoes. And he was like, yeah, that's what it is, man. It's lime and clamato. And I, or, and I said, what's clamato? And he was like, it's a, a tomato type thing. Tomato drink, but, yeah. Uh, so anyway, I'm, I'm, you know, the CPAP's working great. But here's my little bitch, dude. And this kind of goes back to our little pizza debate a few weeks ago when you were here. Okay. Remember when you were like, God damn, you know, when you were ordering all this shit on the pizza. Yeah. And I was like, that's just too fucking much. Too many choices. Too much. Sometimes, dude, there is a such thing as too many choices. No, not not for food. No. Oh no, I think for anything. See, just, I, I I think I don't think so. I think it's, that... it's like too much shit, dude. It's too much, too many things. Too it just confuses you, and confuses the person serving you. And it's just it's I, I you know I'm a simple dude, man. Yeah. See, but see, I yeah I that that's true. But then again, though, I mean, it, once you get it fixed, you don't have to touch it anymore now, right? Now you just have to flip it on. It probably fits perfectly now, right? not fucking with it yeah even if it's a little tight on the ears if like say i lay on one side for a long period of time you know i, I, I can feel like on my ear a little bit there's a little it's been pushing on it yeah I, that's you know i can just flip the fuck over i mean no big deal you know yeah yeah so as long as you've got it you got it on there she fixed it for you because i was about to say man if you give up on the machine because you can't figure it out that's your stupidity getting your and your idiocy getting in the way because i was because you're about to go i don't know i'm gonna get this rid of it i'm like dude you were doing it wrong Millions of people use this shit. You were doing something wrong, so please fi- get someone to help you fix it. Like, get someone like your dad or someone who might know shit. You know, like someone like Gold Retriever. Like, she used it, so I'm like, dude, get someone over there. Fix that shit, because you're doing something wrong. Because obviously yeah. it's not the machine. It's the machine. No, people well, use this shit you know? all the fucking time, so you were doing something wrong. You can't blame the machine if people, millions of people use it successfully, and you used it before successfully, and you... Oh, I just put a strap in wrong. Yeah, you did something wrong, so you fix it. It's a machine, no, you did something wrong. Because you can't. Actually, it's, it's it's a stupid strap. That's what I'm saying. Something so simple, you know, can fuck it up. Can cause you know the machine of part of it's fine. It's the strap. Of part course, but it's a strap that's, that straps it to your head, so it's a mechanical thing. It's not like some mystical thing that that's just some shitty product that doesn't work. You know, like oh well. You know, I got this uh, fucking uh, dubinator, and it didn't fucking dubinate correctly. It's a strap that needs to go into the correct thing, and you don't have it correct. So get someone over there to get it correct, then you won't have to worry about it. Well, you know what's even funnier? There must be a lot of people that are using it incorrectly, because I was looking online to see if anyone else had these issues, and Mm -hmm. there were other people that were just like, oh, yeah, mine, sometimes it whistles and whines and does all this shit, and, you know... I just have to deal with it, and you know, exactly, and it's like, people so, are stupid. I was like, so don't be that kind of person. You have resources, use them. Go back to the goddamn place you got it. Say, hey, listen, I need this this fixed. Not yeah. like, oh, it's the machine. I'm not gonna use this. I'm gonna fucking wake up out of breath. Like fucking wake up out of breath. I'd rather choose that than get it fixed because I'm a dumb fuck. Arr! Well, I, you know, I had I had planned to do some yeah, shit. You know, yeah. I had planned to, I was to hoping either so. call the place that I got it from or because I was just something. You know, I was ready tonight. I was ready to be like, no, 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 man. Come on, man. Come on, dude. Let's no, do, I, got, I, like, I got, come on, dude, you know, man. I got it. I got it all licked, man. <laughs> you like, took care of it. Good. So it's working now, and you feel great today. You're yeah, gonna, I, even, gonna... um, I even took a nap today for a little bit, um, Did you and I really up? didn't have to nap long, dude. I was, like, napping for, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes. Did you put it on while you were napping? Yeah, oh, hell yeah. Oh, okay, okay, cool. So, that's uh, that's the thing. I and, and I even had, like, a, you know, like, I remember the dream I had, you know, 
It's been a while since I really remember a dream. Yeah, you're going to do that more. Um, and uh, and the cool thing is, the thing about it, it's going to be accumulative. Like, first of all, last night was not a real test because you did get faded, you know? Yeah, yeah. So you were like, you, so you didn't sleep as well simply because alcohol does not let you sleep well. You think it does, but it, it actually does not. But I did feel a lot, I mean, I yes. didn't feel hungover when so I got up. So what I'm saying is wait till about like the mid this week when you've got it really working well and how much sleep you're going to be getting successfully <laughs> and it's going to cumulatively improve every day because every night you're going to get more and more rest. Like tonight is going to be the night where you're just like, ah, oh, bam, out. And then tomorrow you'll get up singing zippity doo dah probably, uh, <laughs> you know, doing some fucking backflips over your fucking uh, kitchen table to get breakfast, you know, making breakfast, a full course eggs, fucking Benedict goddamn sausage link breakfast and shit do i go out and cut some wood <laughs> cut down a tree and make a fucking fort in the you know well <laughs> that's assuming you know i didn't sleep too well to where i'm not tired tonight or something you know, nah, you'll <laughs> you know be what fine. i'm saying you'll be fine so, so but uh well maybe you will find it. if you are and still the sleep you're going to get tonight even with like say five or six hours is going to be way better than what you got last week and way better than what you used to get because you never really got consistent sleep you weren't getting right. consistent sleep so well, now, you know, you might pass, you might pass out at two, or yeah. not two, or one or something like that. But you're gonna sleep all the way through till six or seven. It seemed like bam, right. yeah, you know, nice. It'd just be like, oh, well, I'll tell you, dude. I, th that's the thing because the first, let's see, like I said, the first two nights were a little tough, um, but then like Thursday, Friday, and Saturday were just great of last week. You know, I just slept awesome. Mm -hmm. And then, dude, it was just because I had to dick around with those stupid fucking straps that night, man. Mm -hmm. Totally, totally dumb. So when did she come over? Like Saturday? She, or? Yeah, she came over yesterday morning. Okay, actually. but you had it fixed. You had it, so you, it, okay, so a couple, so a couple, so the week week before Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, it, was sleep, it had you sleeping awesome. Right, exactly, because I've had it yeah. for two weeks now. Yeah, so yeah, yeah so, it's, so you're going to get, you got it back, so now you've got the strap, and you know, you don't have to, because all you have to do is adjust it now and just slip it over. You don't have to, like, remove shit, right? Right. See, that's the thing. I was like removing things, and you know, I just got to be real careful with those little Velcro things on the side because yeah. those could fuck. But uh, like I said, I, I can if I can slip it on and off. If it's a little bit tight, I can just switch positions. Yeah, hell. It, and if 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 for some reason you uh, you you need maybe what you'll need to do is is break out the uh, the brown machine and put like a L, like a one or two on the strap and on the on the correct place it's supposed to go. That way you can oh, feel yeah. one, and then you see a one. Oh, that's the one slot. Okay, here's the one strap. Boom, pop that into the one and one slot strap. You know what I'm saying? Right. Well, they're Velcro, so it just you know it just depends on what's most comfortable for you. It's kind of like you know the Velcro shoes. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. But so. I, I'm just saying, I'm saying if there's a way to keep that, because man, I, if it's gonna make you feel that much better, it's not just a matter of you sleeping well. It's a matter of like you. Because not stopping breathing and is probably not really good for you, you know. <laughs> no. You know, every well, thirty-five times a night is probably not going to be something that's going to be helping your heart and your and your circulatory system and anything else. Well, that's so. what this one lady said online. She was like, "Well, I can either deal with the wind tunnel effect, or you know, I can have a stroke or a brain aneurysm because I've already been told by my doctor that I could possibly have one." And I'm like. Oh shit! Yeah, you're like, <laughs> yeah, I can't get rid of this. Got to, got to have it, man. But if, if it's gonna make, you're, if you're feeling great tonight, this is what makes it worth it, you know. Oh well, yeah, I mean, yeah. I the last, um, like I said yesterday, when she came over, and then last night I slept great, and then to this afternoon I took a little nap, and I was good. So you know, cool, but, man. So cool. yeah, that's that's cool. So CPAP is back on, at, back in action, man. Back in so, action, man. So man. I've got, I've got. I don't have much tonight. I do have. I want to talk about some a little bit of politics, just but but maybe a little bit later. But I've got a little story here, and this is this is a, a, it's going to be a to be continued. Uh oh, uh, okay. Because we this is okay. My job. Uh, uh, first of all, let's let's go um, over some stuff here uh, that has happened in the last month in terms of what happened in Oregon. Um, I don't make much money. I'll be fucking honest. I make around minimum wage. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I work, I do, I do my job, I pay my bills, I take care of my business. I, I don't know why I'm a, that's another thing about our fucking society. Oh, how dare you work and make money, you know, middle, a little bit of money, you know. I pay my bills, I handle my business, I buy what I want, I do what I want, I don't bug anybody else, and I don't take money from the government, so I don't, you know, I shouldn't be, I shouldn't be worried about it. But obviously, dude, you don't make a lot of money is a big insult. So, so, oh, so a lot of people, there are people that fuck with you. Like, dude, why don't you get a better well, you job? Know, the stigma, you know, the stigma. But yeah, well, you need to make, and then, you know, of it. And I do need to make, I would like to make more money. But right now, it's, it's, it's working out really well in terms of what I'm doing at the job. I just got, 
kind of promoted through support for the last month. I'm no longer taking calls. I'm helping on support. I'm doing different things, you know. Uh, oh, I, are you, you know, a Lawrence, I, dude? Huh? <laughs> are you a Lawrence? Uh, pff, uh, no, no, I'm not. I'm not that high yet. I, I'm just the guy who, like, let's say they have an issue and they can't. I don't know how to do this. They type into the chat and I go, okay, do this, do this, do this, or try that, or you need to get here, or go escalate to this. Or, you know, I, I help them with that. Oh, you're that online chat dude. <laughs> yeah, but I'm but I'm online chat for for our agents. We have a big a, a, like a room that we go into. And we do a bunch of stuff. Anyway, I don't want to get too much detail than that. Um, okay, but. So yeah, I do I do that, uh, and it's great because you know so I'm getting comfortable with it. Now I'm the time where I can fucking chill, turn on some music. So everything's really going well. You know, I don't make a lot of money, but if I do a forty, if I do a full week, full full two weeks, and a full you know full month, full full you know 160 hours, whatever, my bills are paid easily. I got money to to buy on you know oh shit, I want pizza tonight. All right, I'm gonna buy pizza. You know, right, and, right. And, you know, and I can't even spend on a couple things. Obviously, you know, sometimes when I get uh, you know a Vegas trip, kind of rip me this month a new one, but. Uh, but oh, yeah. that was worth it, you know, and it's it's not like it's not ripped me to a new one where I'm like, I got to fucking got to find a way to get, you know, borrow money or anything. It just I just I just can't buy a, I can't buy four pizzas in a week. You know, I can only you gotta buy, watch your finances. I got I to go to the store more and buy shit at the store. I can't buy like three pizzas at a night or you know, buy buy <laughs> buy a, a, a six pack of cider for 10 bucks that I'll drink in a night. You know what I'm saying? Oh, OK, you can't okay. do that kind of shit, you know, I, you know, but I can, you know, be still go and buy a game every once in a while. Do my thing. And uh, But in, in two weeks from now, I'll have money anyway. Well, the whole point is, they raise minimum wage here in Oregon from nine twenty five to nine seventy five. Okay, so it's now, 50 think, cents up now. I think I'm making a little bit more than that already, but the whole point is that it raises here in Oregon. Now, the minimum wage is lower in other places, and their standard pay is under the minimum wage. So I've been concerned since July. I don't know if I mentioned this to you. Um, but I've been concerned, considering the start of July 1st, that that would be uh, an issue where they could say, listen, um, you're, you know, because it's really, if you think about it, it's really not fair that one person for the same job at the same company can make, you know, 50 cents to a dollar more than somebody else uh, oh. who's doing the same exact job, right? Okay. Because work from home is not is not state by state. It's all across the country. Everybody, they have if a new employee York. comes on or something? Well, my point is, is that let's say, let's say Billy Bob in Virginia is making the nine twenty-five that they normally give you for the job, right? Oh, okay. And I'm in, and he's doing exactly the same thing that I am, and I'm in somewhere else making fifty cents or, or more than he is at the same exact job. Oh, because you guys, that's right. You guys don't do it. it it's a, um, you know, it's global not my state. It's, it's global. It's 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 the whole United States. So someone's making. I don't think that's right. Honestly, I don't think that's fair. Um, you know, I mean, it's obviously state by state, and it makes sense. You know, if they're going to hire me, that's that's fine. I'm not going to complain if I have the job, but I don't. I could understand completely if they said, "Look, it. You know, we uh, we can't we can't do that, so we're going to have to let you go." You know, because oh, because shit. because think about it. I mean, really. I mean, if you're in, if you find out somewhere else, someone else is, is making the same, making more than you, somewhere else. And it's also a money thing. Like in, in Washington, the minimum wage is fifteen dollars in Washington. So they're not going to have this service in Washington, or they're not going to hire anybody from Washington. They're just no. Why would you do that? Why would right. you? Well, exactly. Paying not, somebody fifteen bucks for what they pay especially, you. Especially, especially if someone else gets wind of that when they're in Washington making fifteen an hour, and you're a state over making nine to ten, and they're making five dollars an hour more for you doing the exact same job when they could be doing a shittier job than you. So right? how do they work around that? That's that's because that's they don't hire from places that have higher minimum wages than the job requirement prices. So uh. so now I haven't worried about it yet too much. And I was on you know this is all happened supposed to happen July first is when it switched over to this new fifty cent more minimum wage. Mm -hmm. So I, you know and I haven't thought about it. I haven't worried about it. I, you know my, but it might not have just not have caught up. You know like they might not have known that this was happening. I mean, they knew it was happening, but they may not have looked at that, that situation and go hmm. You know, because their year re review, their their six months review, is on July first. Basically, it's the whole. That's their annual review is on July. So mm -hmm. it's like it, it's that's where they really kind of switch over. It's kind of weird how companies work like that, but it's the middle of the year, not not the um, like the fiscal year or however they. Well, work ours it. ours starts in July. Yes, exactly. Yep. Same exact thing. Ours in July switches over everything. Our 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 vacation time switches over. Everything resets July first at our company. This time in July 1st. So I'm working here. Now, this is why it gets interesting. It's because on Friday, um, which is the, this weekend's end of a pay period. Friday, this is pay period. Well, okay. Friday, everyone's going, oh, wow, did you get your, your fall shift bid? Did you get your fall shift bid? And they go, yeah, I got mine. And everybody else got their shift bid. Oh, well, I'm going to take this, these, these things. Well, 
Guess who didn't get a shift bid? Uh oh. <laughs> Guess who didn't get a shift bid? Yeah, I didn't get a shift bid. Um, and I, I, I was like, oh, throughout the day, I'm like, uh, I, you know, I, I text, didn't text, I emailed somebody about. It. I had to know somebody who I'm working with on something else because I've been doing, like I said, a bunch of build testing and stuff. I'm, I'm pretty. I'm not saying I'm like the shit or anything, but uh, they they rely on, they know I'm a good employee and, I, and they they ask me to do certain things, you know, especially this. Right, you're asked to do things beyond your the scope beyond of your yeah, job. like I'm testing this new system out that they have um, that they're going to be implementing. So I didn't get a, a shift bid, and now it could be it could be just that I didn't get one because I was for some reason just not on the list or something like that. Uh, it mm-hmm. could be, although they send it out to everybody on the floor, right? Right, and you're on the floor. Yeah. So, and I didn't get one, and I asked uh, somebody. I didn't get a response, and I sent an email out to see. Uh, so, I don't know what's going on. Um, if I didn't have that, I would assume, oh, it's just a, it's just a, a mix up. I'll get, I'll get a shift bid because they're supposed to be turning on the, on Tuesday as well. Right. So, right. if I don't get one tomorrow, and I'm still working, I'm gonna be like, dude, I need a shift bid because I am not going to take just any shift because of your not getting me the goddamn shift bid. You know. Right, right, right. And someone said, "Oh, well, I can just forward it to you." I'm like, "Well, I don't want to do that because I want I want my goddamn email from right. From, you want yours I want to know my, that you're going to be there. Yeah, <laughs> I want my email, even if it's the same exact link to the same exact shift bid. If I didn't get one, I want that email to have that email. Right. You know, that's not. It doesn't. I don't want to like forward you you to forward me the email to get so I can do the survey. It's not about the survey. It's I want to know what's going on. It could be if it's just a mix up. Sorry, hey, okay, cool. Um, I'll get that done f- before Tuesday. But if I don't have that by Tuesday, and f- there's a couple things that can happen here. The 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 most extreme. We'll go with the most extreme here, which is very first. I get a call tomorrow morning. Boom, gone, done. Right? Shit. Okay. Let's say that happens. Let's say it happens. Now they goddamn well better give me some kind of severance. I am getting unemployment. But if they just say, oh, sorry, we're letting you go. Uh, you'll get your last paycheck Friday from the last two weeks. There, you, that's it. <laughs> Damn. That that will that will be like, dude. How can you do that? To, I mean, I can understand that because I understand their i their, if it if it, the reasoning for this. That's why I'm like, oh, I could see this happening because, and you get it what I'm saying, right? It makes perfect. Oh yeah, sense. you've had it happen to you before. Uh, where you've showed up and they've been like, we're sorry, we're hands are tied. Fuck you, you're out of here. You know? Yeah, but well, that's true. But I'm I'm just yeah, I'm just saying on in terms of the the understanding. I understand their reasoning if they do that. But I do think that if they do that, they should give me some kind of like, like maybe a month's worth of pay. You know, like they give me something to I can, so I don't have to just go oh and scramble for unemployment. Wait, to right? Get they're the not laying you off because you're a bad employee. No, they're, they're laying me off, off because of some kind of, of minimum wage difference. So that would not be anything to do. So I know I get unemployment. My issue would be I, I would hope that I get something more, like like maybe a thousand dollars or two thousand dollars severance or something like that. You know, just hey, this is some money to, for you to have. We're sorry, you know, we are a great employee. If things change, you move states or whatever, or you get to a place where we, you know, do whatever, we'll definitely want you back with open arms, but we just can't do this. We can't have various people making different amounts of money, of money across across the country. We can't. There's nothing right. we can do about that. I'm sorry. Even if it's 50 cents, it's still 50 cents is $80, $80 a, a month, 80 to $100 a month. That's a decent amount of money. For any, yeah. and it has nothing to do with it. It's about fairness, you know, for the same job. What, whatever reasons. I can understand that reason. But if they just do that and just leave me hanging, I'm going to be like, fuck, fuck you people. You know, <laughs> give me something more than this. Right, right. Now, well, that's the worst case scenario. That's where I've been like trying. I've been tempted to go on my computer to check and see if I got one over the weekend. Um, so you haven't heard anything as of yet. I haven't huh? heard anything, but that's a weekend. Oh, great. You know, pay yeah, period, pay period. always do their shit on weekends and evenings when, you know, you can't really do anything. Yeah, when we got this Friday and it's due like Tuesday. So if, and that's another thing. So if I don't get the thing tomorrow and I'm still on and I'm still employed and I'm, I, they, they, and I log in and there's no, no emails or, or no call tomorrow morning because that's what I would expect. Like I get a call before my shift. Hey, this is what's going on. You know, blah, blah, boom. Just- so it's kind, of, kind of shady, though, for them to just not say anything. Well, I know, that's why I think it, hopefully it's a mix up. I mean, but but then again, it's it goes out to all of uh, the Xbox. It just it's not even like like there's a name in the in the email heading. It's like Xbox. I mean, whatever. See, whatever. Sorry. Blah, yeah. pl- blah, employees, whatever. Blah, employees, um, you know, 
all, all this. It's like one line, like one link that goes to every. It's just sent out like a blast. Like right. it's not it like it's a blast to it all do, you. Yeah, that it are... doesn't say like Billy Johnson, Michael Chum Dump, Jimmy Johnson, Samantha Marks, Jeff. You know, cruise right, control. It's a distribution list. It's a distribution basically. list that they have one thing that is pop it on and pop it through. So why wouldn't I get one, right? Mm, yeah. 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 So distribution That's... list. Why wouldn't I get one? So if the worst comes to worst, and I'm fighting to get this goddamn shift bid thing before it closes, I am not going to take what shift they give me. I'm going to be like, no, 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 no. You are supposed to send me this out. I am not supposed to fight and get someone to forward it to me or whatever. I need this email. I want this email in my inbox showing that I am going to get my own. I'm not saying it's because they're all the same schedule shift you know, link, like I said, but I want it in my fucking inbox, in mine, to see yeah. it. And, and, well, you got to look out for yourself, man. Well, mm-hmm. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not gonna have someone forward it to me and then like fill out the form and without it having the actual email there that has the link in it saying, "Listen, I got the email." And if I don't get the, if I don't get the email before they close out this thing, I'm gonna ask for an extension and and, uh, and I'm gonna say, "You can't just give me any shift. You didn't give me a shift bid. You gave everybody else one." So there's a couple of things. It's just really fucking annoying, and it's got me yeah. actually oh, fuck, pretty. Dude. That's one of those. Hmm. I mean, you see where my logic is, and I don't think my logic is that flawed. I don't think I'm being too oh. paranoid. I'm here. Um, no, no, no. I'd be worried too, especially if, like you said, every people that you knew got them and you didn't. And you're like, well, wait a minute. I'm supposed to be on that distribution list. Why didn't I get an email? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because it's a distribution list. Like you off? said, it's a distribution list. It's not like, yeah, why would I not be on that list? Why wouldn't I just get it? Unless, and, why, and, why, and if I didn't get it, why would I be taken off at all? Like, why would I not? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, well, I don't like how they didn't tell you anything. They just you just kind of sneakily took, and you just happened to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? Well, I just thought about it. I'm like, well, why didn't I? Yeah, why didn't I get one? Are they going <laughs> to let me know? Are they worried about? Because this is what I think. This is the only thing I can think of. They they wanted to get get through the pay period, make it a clean, even pay period break, and and then go from there. So I they should have done it though on the day you know that Friday and called you and been like, all right, here's the deal, man. Um, we can't continue to keep you on because of you know whatever. Rather than being sneaky about it, yeah, for whatever know, whatever reason, it just makes me feel like is it just an error? Like why was but why was I not on that? Maybe they set up the new list and just didn't add me. I, fuck, I don't know. I mean, you that's know what I'm saying? It, it is a possibility, but it's just the whole weekend has been like. Uh, and yeah, and, and no. here's the here's the part of me that's 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 kind of, this part of the thing that's kind of interesting as well. And this is this goes to different things here, but. Um, <laughs> what they do, I'm not going to be that upset, you know, and the, unless I don't get anything besides what I get. Like if I, if they do give me something like, hey, here's a thousand dollars, a couple thousand, whatever. This is yeah. this is like to live off of. You can also get employment. I'll be like, oh, all right, okay. I'll, yeah. It's not like I'm like well, I'm bored, I mean, you know? No. Yeah, right. I'm like, right. Okay, you give me something, I'll, I'll I'll figure it out. But you know, depending on how much I get, I can live. Okay, I can pay my bills. I can get maybe the, even this month and next month's rent paid, and then I can just figure everything out. You know, because I can get unemployment, you know, get everything just going, and then I can, you know, just uh, focus on finding something new. That's cool, but just not knowing, it's just like I don't know. I don't, and and, and I and I, no one. And the thing is, no one is telling me that I'm being too paranoid. That I've told this to. Well, that's no one's it. going. Well, oh, come on! You're just being got that bad. Yeah, People well, are going, I get that when, all I, the when time. I explain, yeah, I know, but when I explain my uh, my reasoning, it's like, oh. Yeah, <laughs> that that. Well, I think anybody would think that way if they were in that position. Yeah, you know, where all of a sudden the new shift bid comes out and you don't get one. You know, you got to be like, uh, what's going on here? You know. Yeah, not even just the shift. Because if it was like I said, if it didn't, if there was no like raise in the minimum wage, if there was no, um, none of that going on, like, because I was thinking about this, I've been thinking about this since July. Like, hmm, like how are they going to handle this? If there was right. none of that going on, I'd be like, oh, well, I need to just get back on the list because there's no uh, there's no reason why they would let me go. There's no other reason. If it was a disciplinary issue, they would have talked to me about the disciplinary issue and said, hey, we're going to let you. It, 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 there's no other reason. So I'm either expecting to get on tomorrow and have to deal with trying to get this goddamn shift bid um, and figure out why I'm not on this list. Or I'm going to get some kind of call tomorrow before my shift to tell me not even to clock in or something similar. Mm, fuck, and it's it's like you don't even want to get that call. You, it's like you're afraid of getting caught slipping, you know? Yeah, I mean, I don't I don't care if I get the call. I'd rather just know what's going on um, and and find out. But just if that call is, hey, we're letting you go, you got one more paycheck, and then figure it out yourself. 
and not right. make one more paycheck from the last couple of weeks. And then, you know, that's like, okay, my rent's gone. All right, I'm, I'm going to, f- okay. <laughs> yeah, that's, you know. uh, fuck, dude. Yeah, they really don't think about the employee too much, man. No, and and, and even little things like that, like 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 how how am I not supposed to supposed to be a little bit concerned about that, you know? Yeah, yeah. Well, I definitely would be concerned. And I and I didn't <laughs> say. And here's the thing. See, here's the thing. The only people who did say, "Oh, don't worry about," it, are the ones at work who are like, "Oh, it's, you just probably got you know probably didn't get the emails, probably just a mix up, whatever." I can't tell them. Well, the reasoning is that I make more than you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, you know, you understand the state that I live in. Uh, the state that I live in is blah, 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 you know. Um, right. So we'll see man, what happens. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of freaky, man. Oh. So I'm gonna have to, we'll have to keep an update on that and let people know so, what's cause... going on with that. Man, yeah, that's uh, – and this has been your weekend, right? You haven't worked this weekend at all? No, or... I don't work I don't work until tomorrow. I work. I get up the weekends off. You know? That's right. you got Monday, Monday through Friday uh, Yeah, and, and if they – for some reason I am still on the same schedule, unless it's something crazy like, hey, we want you to do this, and we're going to keep you on the same schedule, blah, 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 then, uh, well, then that – yeah. And see, too, there's a lot of ball droppery, dude, and, and this is just across the board. Yeah, Just yeah. In, in a lot of mm-hmm. you know, corporate fucking – you know, I get it at work. It happens, you know, with other people. They don't call you. They just, you know, and it's like, why? You know, what possibly? How could you be so busy that this little error happens? How the fuck could you allow this shit to happen? You know? Yeah. How do you how do you allow? And if you do, and I did and I did mention it to somebody on Friday. Like I did say and it was the guy, this guy that I've actually he's actually in the scheduling department in some ways. And he goes and I, I also sent it to somebody else. And uh and they go, let's look into that. We'll get, and then, but then it was like that was like an hour before the end of my shift, and then he, I didn't hear anything. That he goes, I, I'm going to ping the guy who sent the the email out, and oh. and I, but I didn't get any response for the next hour, and then he just logged off. So I don't know, I don't, I don't know what's going. on. Maybe he was like he felt, oh, he's I don't mention it to him. Oh, oh I'll just let it go. Who knows? Oh yeah, he's got to do. He's got to follow his orders. So if the guy says, well, um, uh, there's a little something extra we're doing with him, you know. Yeah, we and, can't just 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 don't mention anything and uh, just 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 kind of let it. So he's probably just like, I'm just not even gonna reply. That's, that's the thing too, dude. All this little like, keep it quiet. Don't say anything. Just let's lie, you know. Rather than being on the up and up and doing what a business should do, and you know, because fuck, dude, employees get treated like shit in a lot of cases. Yeah, and this way, I think I've you know, it's just kind of a drag on thing, and it's. And it, may, it might just be like I wasn't I wasn't on the list, which is cool. I'll be like, all right, that's you know status quo. Uh, I'm right. but I'm still on the, hopefully on the support team, and I'm and that's another thing. Maybe it was just a support uh, team that got the uh, shift bids, and maybe I'm not on the support team any longer. Right. So you get a different one. At different, a different one at time. some point. Who fucking? It's just annoying. It's just really annoying. And um, yeah, I mean, it just kind of like got me going. Oh, tomorrow. Now I'm like, I don't know if I'm gonna. I'm probably shit. I'm probably gonna grab a little. Like a little twenty-two ounce of something outburst. to knock you out tonight, huh? Outburst because I I am a little bit on edge, man. I I, I guess I, I have yeah, yeah. I yeah. Could imagine you know because I, I, you know? I don't like this. It's not a lot of money. It's I can get another job, but I'm really getting comfortable with what I'm doing, and I feel like like it, this is a there might be some other things that I can do there, or I just like not being on the phone and kind of just you know days aren't. I don't get off at the end of the day. Some days I have some days. I got some brutal day last week where I had seven like five six supervisor calls that I take. I was like oh god. But the point is, I'm not doing like 20, 20 calls to these fuckers all day. Or at the end, because you you know Max, sometimes I'm like, dude, can we put the show back a day or two? Oh, I know, Cause God, because yeah, you, you know like, when you're on the dude, phone, I had a real fucked up day, man. You think we could do it? Yeah, like, when, you when know, you're on the phone for eight for eight hours a day on the phone, just constantly talking, and then you, you don't want. Matter of fact, that's yeah. kind of what we did last this past week. Yeah, remember? Yeah, you kept having to push it back for different reasons. Yeah, I did, I did. So <laughs> this week was kind of kind of kind of a little bit because it was crazy. Okay, because. And it, this job can have moments, but when it's really mellow, it's still way mellower than it's way way mellower than being on the phone. Because regardless when you're on the phone, you can deal with dumbasses. When it's mellow here, I'm like chilling, like I got fucking Vertical Horizon bumping in the background. You know, I'm <laughs> sipping on a soda, just like you know. For, Sound you know, like me? <laughs> but I'm just like I'm not. Like, I go in the kitchen like without even doing anything, and just grab a bowl of cereal. I'm just munching on cereal while I'm typing. You know. Right, you know what I'm saying? It's really kind of mellow. <laughs> yeah. But when it's really intense, like last week when we had a new Xbox release, and then this whole issue, it's like, <laughs> like flicking around everywhere. Check long calls. Okay, blah, 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 blah. I'm doing like five things at once. You know, I'm ta- typing in two different uh, chats at once, three different chats, pinging people back and forth. You know, I'm t- taking a soup call, or I'm doing something else. Or I'm working on a, a, an approving something. It can get hectic, but. But yeah, still, the, it evens out to way better position than I was before. So it'd just be oh, kind of oh, funny, you know too. What, the key is, you don't have a boss up your ass, dude. Because mm-hmm. 
you know, I have a same, I have the same kind of a similar situation, you know, where I don't have my boss up my ass. I'm not at home, but mine, you know, they're not in, my, in the same office I'm in. So, no. you know, yeah. I, I can relax a little bit and, you know, do my thing. Yeah, so we'll see. We'll see what happens, and I will let you know. Um, yeah, privately, man. Good, of fuck, good luck with this shit, dude. I hope. Um, uh, so yeah, it's just just uh, just just good good vibes, good karma, good thoughts. I'm not a religious person. You, you want prayers? Should I pray for you, yeah, man? Throw it out there for me when I get this. Then again, then again, the funny thing is when this show goes up, I'll you know. Uh, you know what? I might even jump on. I might even jump on this tonight and get this up tonight. Uh, but just oh, okay. have it up. We'll see. Um, it doesn't take too long to get done. So I might just do it right afterwards. Uh, but anyway, that's that's my little story part there. Um, that's all you really, all you really have with the C- you don't have anything else going on. Any, Nothing, any? dude. That, that CPAP was pretty much the that whole, was my that anxiety was the for the anxiety whole week. Of the week. So I've, we've got our both major anxiety. Yours is out of the way. Hopefully mine will be out of the way soon. Uh, boy, I'll may- tell you, man. Like I said, I, I mean, not to keep going back to it, but uh, I mean, I'd wake up and and I was just like, I, I was getting. Matter of fact, I was so bad. Friday, I called in sick. Because I, dude, I had four nights of no, wow, virtually no sleep, you know. So as a matter of fact, Kraken was supposed to work that day, and I texted him. I'm like, hey, dude, I'm not coming into work, man. I'm just, I'm not feeling well. So I said, don't show up. And then uh, had to do all the the call in. It's kind of funny, dude. When you're calling in sick, you have to like call all these motherfuckers and notify all these people yeah. before you can actually go rest, mm-hmm. you know. So, but uh, so yeah, Friday I actually took Friday off because I wasn't. Uh, I was not, I was like, I can't function. It's too fucking, I'm too tired. And, you know, Kraken's air, car doesn't have the greatest air conditioning. Oh, yeah, you know. I could I could, I could, hear that. Yeah, so you, you're just like, no. Yeah. No, I no, like, no. I'm not doing it. And I was like, oh, it, it, this is either, I said, either I'm going to get this fixed, or if I can't get it to work, then fuck. You know, I mean, I did it this long. I'll, I'll, I'll survive. I'll be okay. You yeah, know? Well, I don't think you would have been okay, dude. That's what I'm telling you. Well, eventually, probably not. You know, prolonged. Yeah. Uh, well, how do you? You don't even know how long you've had it, though. So, well, that's it. I, well, I'm pretty sure I've had it because the first time I've actually heard about it was back in like 2006. Yeah, when I was with Shell. Mm-hmm. So, and I just didn't pay attention to it. I was like, oh yeah, whatever. So that's 10 years of this shit. It's gotten you know? worse and worse and worse, probably. So yeah, so that you don't want any more of that shit. Yeah. So no, no. So yeah, so that's that's that. I have a little bit, a couple of weird things. Have you heard? Um, just through the grapevine, you've heard the big controversy over over Hillary's health. Um, didn't know anything about Hillary's health. Hillary Clinton, I guess. Olympic she, shit. I guess happened, Hil- Hillary Clinton had some. Uh, I guess she's having like like this like having almost like a seizure type thing on on a. Oh really? On like uh, well, I can't play it for you because our fucking thing. But I guess she was like she was like in an interview and she uh-huh. started laughing and she went ah, and her head was like bobbing up and down like. <laughs> And we were like, what oh, the fuck? And I guess there's people saying that there's a Secret Service guy with a syringe and that on every stage she has, he's on, there's a, there's a lean stool, a stool that she need, she can lean on on stage. Uh, What's she got going on? What's who the... Know, they don't, they're no, but her camp is saying, oh, well, there's nothing wrong. It's a conspiracy theory. It's nothing wrong. But, but there people are saying, like, she's been carried up steps and shit, like, carried up, you know, carried up. Like, people are holding on to her on platforms so she doesn't, like, she keeps her balance and stuff like that. Oh, wow. So keep an eye on that, man. I mean, we've got... This whole fucking thing is just a goddamn nightmare, dude. I'm literally... And the only reason I know about this because I, I have YouTube uh, channels that I that I watch. I don't watch the news or anything anymore. But these YouTube right, channels no, no. will have like because they're talking about politics sometimes, and and they'll have stories about that, like especially about that her. But man, this whole thing I've been staying away from it. But that's just kind of like, whoa! What if she's on the fucking debate stage for two hours, and just is like, ah, oh, and you know, then yeah, fl- flips out or something, falls or, over and well, shit. I mean, it doesn't and then you really got matter because not that's. Not who I would want. No. Anyway, but then you got Trump <laughs> going fucking. I mean, it's just the whole thing's a goddamn mess, man. And uh, uh, it just reinforces that we just got two. We got we got a shit sandwich and a douchebag, dude. Well, that's it. And my mom was like, last weekend, <laughs> she's like, "You better vote." And I'm like, <laughs> "For what?" You know what I'm saying? Is she gonna like, vote for Trump? She yes, she's going to vote for Trump because there's no other choice besides Hillary. So it, it, it's that. You know, well, yeah. I mean, well, there's Gary I would Johnson, just vote who's, for, who's for the, some Gary Johnson. Some other is asshole. The, is Gary Johnson's a libertarian uh, candidate, but he's not going to win. You know, he's. I think he's That's on the debate stage, or I don't even know if he's going to be allowed to go on the debate debate See, now, stage. Now there's a situation yeah. where we could use more choices. That's what I'm saying. Why would you not? Because they, it's all, it's all. They're all together, man. It's the same fucking thing. It's all the government. It's right, left. They're all still together. It's like they, yeah. they fight. If they fight with each other during the government. 
But it's just like the primary shit. It's like, you know, the primaries, you got like five Republicans calling each other assholes and idiots and losers. And oh, yeah, then vagrants. they're hanging out together. And then later like, on, they're all, oh, we're, we're united. It's the same thing with them. If the government was ever threatened, they would jump. They're, 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 they're all on the board the same. Oh, yeah, that's Republican the team they Democrat. Play for. Yeah. They're not, oh, I'm a Democrat. No, bullshit. They play for Team, they play for team Big label. Brother. It's just yeah, the name. Team, you know? team, break, team Big Brother is what they play for, you know. Oh, yeah, totally. So, so that's that's a situation where you do yeah. need more choices, but other shit where you don't need so many goddamn choices, they slam them down your throat, and it's just like, well, this is ridiculous. Mm-hmm. So, you know, yep, that's it's that's uh, it's pretty crazy. So, so yeah, so that's uh, that's pretty much all I had. I just wanted to bring that up, just how how I'm just I'm just I have no idea what's gonna happen with this with the with this because yeah. Hillary could be. What if she does when it's a cover up and then she dies uh, in office? Wow. Then I, got, yeah, then who takes over? Who's her yeah, running And, and why would, yeah, it's this guy Tim Kaine, I guess. I don't fucking know. Some some schmucky from... <laughs> Tim Kaine? Tim Kaine Tim Kane or something like that. Some schmucky Kane? from con, con, from Bilucky or whatever. Uh, Kentucky? Schmucky from Bilucky, yeah, so. But I don't know, but anyway. Um, well, I guess fuck on that yeah, note. Yeah, I'm, just... a, I'm actually going to start starting up the uh, stuff again here. So, All right, play so, here. Come on, motherfucker, play here. Let's see if we got this... Uh, yeah, there we go. Anyways, so yeah, that's our little week. So we'll find out. We got CPAP solved. Yes, we uh, did. But Thank now we, but now we've got my little issue here. So uh, we'll we'll see what happens. Anyways, uh, once again, I am Cruise Control, and I'm Maxwell Silverhammer, and that's, that's the, story the story there, there bitches. bitches, for August twenty first, two thousand sixteen. Nothing sacred. We'll see if I'm still gainfully employed <laughs> on our next episode. If Stay I'm still tuned. Alive. Stay tuned, bitches. Yeah. <laughs> we'll work for food. Give me some money. <laughs> yeah, bitches. <laughs>